Well, hi, I'm Deborah Summerfield. I'm with the Lake County Administrative Office and uh, involved in the county's economic development and marketing program. I'm here at Calpine's visit Geothermal Visitor Center and excited to see the new exhibit that they have here today. Uh, Calpine has been a great partner uh, with the county in terms of uh, a major employer in the county and in addition having the Calpine Visitor Center here in Southern Lake County is a wonderful opportunity for visitors to learn about geothermal energy in, in just a great exhibit space, uh, hands-on demonstrations, uh, informative presentations, and, and it's just going to be a truly wonderful asset here uh, to folks visiting Southern Lake County. My name is Danielle Mathis of Paris. I'm the manager of Government Community Affairs for the Geysers. And um, here today we have remodeled our exhibit room. And the goal is for the people that, some of the people that collaborate on the project to be able to interact with our visitors and explain what story they wanted to tell. Geothermal is complex. There's a lot of different components. And so everyone who uh, worked on it can stand and talk about what they were trying to convey in a very small exhibit. Geyser spans 35 square miles and there's a lot to it. <laughs> do that second one. Slow down, it's getting too bright. <laughs> okay. The main thing I want to point out about the geysers is that the geysers is in rather ordinary rock found throughout the entire coast ranges of California. <laughs> And the geysers is in this rock called Gray Wacky, this gray area here. And it's very abundant throughout this region. But the reason that the geysers is here is because a body of uh, granite came in below the geysers and it fractured this gray wacky. And it since prepared it for a geothermal reservoir. I'm Mike Rogers, Senior Vice President uh, for Calpine's Geothermal Region, and we're here at the uh, Calpine Cartwright Geothermal Visitor Center, located in Middletown. Um, we're having a, a grand reopening of the Visitor Center today. Uh, we did uh, a huge upgrade to this facility uh, in partnership with the Department of Energy Geothermal Division, and what we're able to do is upgrade all our exhibits. They're all state-of-the-art with touch screens and a lot of interactive exhibits. So it's it's really turned out to be a, a great facility. So the facility's open Wednesday through Saturday, 11 to 5. So come on down to Middletown. You'll find it to be a really great facility. Lake, Lake County has been great for the geothermal industry. Uh, obviously there's a phenomenal resource here, the geysers uh, that straddles Lake County and Sonoma County line. This is the largest geothermal facility in the world. Uh, we've been operating up here for over 50 years and we found that uh, the, the Lake County is great to work with. Uh, we have a great workforce, 75% um, of which reside in Lake County. Uh, we found find that the uh, local vendors, the communities, and the government officials are really good to work with and uh, are really welcoming of our business. So we, we feel we have a really great partnership with Lake County and especially in the South County part where we work really well uh, with the folks here. We've got a lot of suppliers uh, from folks that provide us tires all the way down to people that provide us with, with food for some of our meetings and events. So it's, 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 Red Lake County's been really good to Calpine and I think it's been a very symbiotic relationship.